The Pebble Shooter. Once upon a time, in the glorious land of Laos, the land of a million elephants, there lived a little boy by the name of Manse. He had no parents and was lame in one leg. But Manse was a very happy child who was well looked after by the villagers. Hello, Manse. I brought you fresh vegetables from my garden. Oh, Leia. Hmm, vegetables. I've brought him something better. A sugary sweet pie that'll rot all his teeth. <laughs> The village children would always play with him, but in one particular game, he was the best. Wow! How'd you hit that tree? That's Manze for you. He can aim at anything, no matter how far it is. <laughs> well, the truth was. Manse would spend a lot of time practicing flicking pebbles at faraway objects. He could even hit at leaves in the topmost parts of tall trees. One day, as he was sitting alone under a large banyan tree, he started flicking pebbles at the leaves. Oh wow! The sunlight that came through the leaf made an image on the ground. It looks like a boy dancing. <laughs> And so it did. When the leaves fluttered and the sun rays moved with them, the image on the ground would move beautifully. As his friends came to find him, they were delighted with the show. Oh, what is this? It's beautiful. Let's make something else, eh? Ha! Hoo! Yeah! Soon he had created an elephant on one leaf. And then a baby elephant. Wow! It looks like a baby elephant following its mommy. The children were enjoying the show, and almost didn't see the king and his soldiers approaching that way. But they turned as they heard the sounds. Oh no! The king! Quick! Let's hide! Come on, Manse! The kids hid behind the bushes. And the king and his troops soon came over to rest. But as soon as the wind blew and moved the leaves around, the elephants showed up near the king and surprised him. Ooh, what's this? It, it looks like magic. It's beautiful, guards. Find the person who has created this art. Oh no! They'll come to find us. Run! Run! Wait! Wait for me! But the children ran away, leaving Manse behind. Even though the king was a good man, to little children he was still someone great and fearsome. I found a boy here. Let's bring him to the king. And so poor, scared Manse was brought before the king, trembling. Is it you who made these images? Yes, Your Highness. Hmm. Prove it. Make another one for us. Manse picked a pebble, but just then a songbird perched itself on a branch. Seeing it, Manse had an idea. He flicked the pebbles at one broken leaf and formed the image of the bird's body. On another leaf, he created the bird's head. And when the leaves moved, everyone watched in amazement. Amazing! It looks like the bird is singing the song. The king and his men enjoyed and clapped to the song of the sunlit bird. My boy, you have a remarkable talent. I would like to bring you back to my castle. You would be able to help me a great deal. And so Manse sat in the very carriage as the king. And rode all the way to the royal palace. There, Manse was impressed at being inside. Now listen carefully to what I have to say. I will soon be holding a meeting with my ministers. 
one of which doesn't stop talking. Oh? I mean, the man just keeps on with the blah, blah, blah. I want to teach him how to listen to others, too. So, how can I help? You must hide between the curtains and shoot bitter orange peels into his mouth. Manse was very amused and agreed to the king's plan. He sat behind a curtain opposite to the minister, Eric's side. Soon, the meeting started. Oh no! I didn't ask the king which minister it is! Now then, I've called you all to discuss the thefts in the kingdom. Does anyone have anything to say about it? <laughs> well, sire, I, I was wondering... I was thinking maybe we should just ask the victims. I do know that some of them saw the thief at some points. <laughs> That's amazing. Then we can... But I do feel it will take some time to find the man. After all, it is a huge kingdom, and we do have such nice people. Eric, I think he wants to say something. But we do have many soldiers in the kingdom. It may not take as much time as I fear. Ugh. So that's the man. Well, time to take a break, Mr. Talkative. He shot the peel straight into Eric's mouth, who was very surprised, but soon turned pale. What's wrong, Eric? Is everything fine? <laughs> What's this dreadful thing in my mouth? Oh! <laughs> Ew. Eric, you're in front of the king! <laughs> it's all right. Well, what were you going to say? Well, your highness... Uh, I was saying that the people of this... <clears throat> there may be a thief in the midst of our people. I mean, we can never be too sure. <laughs> oh, dear. I guess Eric's a little tongue-tied at this time. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, your highness, if you'll hear me out... I'm sorry for that, but I only wanted to say that... <laughs> Why is this happening? Every time I open my mouth, something horrible drops in. And so this time, he swallowed the peel and decided to stay quiet for fear of something else being shot into his mouth. Well, uh, should I speak now? Mm-hmm! <laughs> Finally, Your Majesty, what I wanted to say was that there's a traveling circus caravan in our kingdom. And at every stop it makes, a nearby house is always robbed. That is rather interesting. So, do you want to visit the next place it stops at? Exactly, Your Majesty. That is a very good idea. What do you think, Eric? Eric was quite impressed at the idea. Uh, yes, go on. Well, I quite agree with what he said. Excellent. It really is nice to hear many different opinions, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes it is. In this way, whenever Eric spoke too much, Manse would shoot a peel into his mouth. So Eric remained quiet for the whole time and had no other choice but to listen to the others. Hmm, I can't remember ever having heard their opinions before. Do I really talk that much? After the meeting was over, the king came up to Eric. Well, 
Now do you realize that giving others a chance to speak and voice their opinions is an important thing? <sighs> yes. I'm sorry for the way I've behaved. I'll try hard to change from now on. Ah, mission accomplished. The king was very pleased with Manse and allowed him to stay in the palace. He was well fed and looked after. And lived a very happy life, displaying his talent to others. And as for Eric, well, he was true to his word and tried hard to allow others the chance to speak because listening to others' opinions is a very important thing. We must always care and value other people's thoughts too. <laughs>